today I'm going to show you on how to tune up or summarize a snowblower. So if you have one similar to this, this is a video directly for you. I'm going to show you on how to do the spark plug, drain out and burn off all of the gas, and also the oil. First thing you're going to want to do is start up the engine and let it run until it burns off all fuel. So now, to do that, if you've modified your snowblower the way I have, you may have a fuel valve on it. If you do, make sure it's turned in the on position. It's now in the on position. the gas in there is what's going to be going. You leave gas inside of your snowblower throughout the summer. When you go to start it in the winter, it's going to bog down and it's not going to have any power. That's because it's going to have a clogged up carburetor. Choke. Also prime it maybe once or twice to help get it going. Now if your blower is just like this one, would you move? Stop it. If your blower is just like this one, you're going to have a, a drainage plug just like this. The wrench you'll need is a 5 8 So go on ahead and loosen it. Get ready because oil is going to come out fast. Might help if you tip the blower too. Once you've got everything all drained out, when you tip it, nothing else comes out. Maybe a drop or two. Go on ahead and put the cap back on. Make sure you tighten this one up really tight because you never want this to come loose when you're in the middle of snow blowing your driveway. This comes loose, all of your oil is gonna come out all over the driveway and if you don't notice it, your engine is going to seize. Just make sure you get it real tight so that it doesn't come loose ever while you're in the middle of operating your unit. That should be tight enough.
with me doing this job several times now, I'm going to assume that is the, the proper amount. With flathead engines, it is okay to slightly overfill them. It is okay to slightly overfill them above the full mark. They will burn that off while they're running. With overhead valves, you cannot do this. The oil will foam up too much and then it will get caught. Uh, it, it, the oil will foam up too much and will not lubricate. Wipe off your dipstick. Crap. Um. I've got it filled up right to the edge of this stick here. like right here right about here is where the oil level is that's okay you can do that with flathead engines they will burn it off and it will be no problem yes of course if you overfill it too much it will smoke and burn up a little bit of that oil but it's okay Grab your torque wrench if you have one. You can see that this is a healthy engine because it is burning correctly. You can see there are no deposits and the engine is in good working order. Maybe that thing is a little, maybe the, the side, uh, the side electrode is a little bit bent, but that's okay. Oh, would you look at that, dog's running off because she's getting food. Overall, it's in good working order. So I can actually take this plug and just put it right back in. I always like to put graphite. It's an anti-seized lubricant. And there you go. It will prevent the spark plug from seizing up inside of the threads of the head and then causing, uh, causing damage to the cylinder head. So all you really do is take a little bit of this muck out and gently just Put it around the spark plug. I overdid it here, but it'll just it'll disperse itself evenly, evenly around.
For those of you who may be wondering, this is an E3 plug. It's one of those things that are made in China. Just about everything is made in China today though. But put your plug wire back on and you're done. You're ready for next winter. Also, you can take a teaspoon of oil and put it inside of the cylinder to keep everything lubricated properly. Another good thing to do is to crank it over to the middle of the compression stroke so that neither so that neither your exhaust or your intake valve is open. Actually, the intake valve is over here, but you don't want your exhaust valve or your intake valve open to where it will let moisture into the cylinder. That's how you service a two-stage, your typical two-stage snowblower, whether it's made by MTD or whoever. It's got a Tecumseh engine on it. This is how you do it. Thank you for watching.